So yesterday I did a video on, uh, on Job and how Satan manifests himself in the life of Job, uh, in Job's struggle with Satan and what that actually meant. Uh, and I also referred forward uh, to the teachings of Jesus. And so now I'm going to talk to you about Jesus and uh, his struggle with Satan uh, during his 40 days in the desert. And uh, what Satan might have been, being that he was out there alone. And so Jesus, he, uh, the last account, early account uh, we have of Jesus is, is when he's 12 years old. Uh, and so the time after that is, uh, is what's traditionally called uh, by religious people and theologians as the missing years. Those who study the life of Jesus know that those years aren't missing at all. Uh, that there are accounts of Jesus in France. Uh, there are accounts of him traveling with Joseph of Arimathea uh, to England. Uh, there's uh, an account of, uh, of an abbey there in England that has an account of a teenage Jesus walking up and down the beach. All that's, uh, all that's been hidden uh, mostly by the Catholic Church. Uh, in secret society people, which I'll probably talk about in my next video. Uh, and so beyond that, we have uh, Jesus traveling by foot and caravan uh, through India, Tibet, uh, and, and, uh, and on back. And there are accounts all through, through these places of him being there. Uh, so he, he basically traveled the known world then learning and picking up lessons and all along the way challenging people uh, and challenging their ideologies and their and their pra spiritual practices uh, and learning and basically putting together uh, a package that he would then bring back home uh, and uh, introduce to introduce to the, uh, the Hebrew people and so during Jesus's, and you could imagine when Jesus got back home and started teaching these things, uh, you could imagine the resistance he met and, uh, and the way he was challenged by not only uh, the Pharisee and the Sadducees, but family and friends uh, and people that he, he met all along, uh, all along his journeys back home. And, uh, and that the, the things that he was teaching and the package he had put together to teach mankind uh, was, was new and different. It, uh, it transcended all ideological boundaries and spectrums. And so when, uh, when Jesus took those 40 days in the desert, uh, you could imagine that, that what, what was... Uh, what was actually challenging him were the, uh, the voices of those people that he met all along the way and that he encountered when he came back uh, home uh, that were calling him back from what he had learned from, from Spirit and from Abba. And so basically what I think how Satan manifests himself in the life of Jesus Christ during his 40 days in the desert were, uh, were basically the voices of a network of people that surrounded him saying, uh, you can't teach that. That's not true. And uh, basically telling him that, that he was the bad guy, that he was the demon, uh, and uh, that what he was teaching was, uh, was, was darkness. And, uh, and he knew he was a light being. He had tested all this stuff in his mind and he had tested it all throughout his travels. He had ministered to and from uh, his father, our father. Uh, and uh, he, like I said, he had tested this stuff. And so basically, again, like Job, uh, how Satan manifested himself in both of their lives was a, was a network of people that were persecuting him, not showing him grace. Uh, and, and basically uh, conspiring against, uh, against all the things in his life, uh, that his teachings, uh, these new I, this new package of ideas he had brought back home. And, uh, and so, uh, again, uh, 
uh, you know, that, that, uh, that voice of Satan that challenges, challenges us all is, uh, is the voice that causes us to doubt what, uh, what our Father, Abba, God, has already proven to us to be true. Uh, and he does that in many different ways uh, when when you when, when he's ministering to and, and and you're speaking and communicating back with him and so basically that's what I think Jesus was going through uh, during his 40 days in the desert I don't think there was uh there was some big red dude with a pitchfork tail out there with him that was actually challenging him he was struggling uh, to find the will to continue on uh, delivering the message that that our Abba, our Father, had put inside of him, and uh, trying to figure out if he wanted to go forward with it, and so uh, he eventually had to put Satan and the naysayers behind him, and as we all do, and that's uh, that's not to say that everybody that challenges us in our ideas and what God has told us that they're all Satan and they're all satanic. Uh, but when it builds itself as a network around you that uh, that challenges you uh, and holds you down and pushes you back and starts to uh, perse persecute you, uh, well, yeah, that uh, that network starts to become satanic. But uh, anyway, that's what I that's how I think uh, Jesus defeated Satan. That's how I think we all have to have to go about defeating Satan. Is putting the naysayers behind us uh, and walking our own walk, uh, and 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 uh, and, and basically uh, finding our way. Your way is not going to be exactly like anybody else's way. That's not how Jesus taught. Jesus taught based on individual values, and when Jesus found me, that's how he taught me. He, uh, you know, Jesus' spiritual practice was not called spirituality. It was called the way. Uh, and if you look at the name of God, which is I am, uh, it's all right to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am the way I am. And, and, uh, and to know in saying that and in doing so that, uh, that your Father, Abba, God, and Jesus Christ accept you the way you are. Uh, and that's not to say you don't need to improve, because it's every day. Uh, every day is a chance for metanoia, and uh, and uh, change in direction, and, uh, and to alter your course. Uh, but anyway, I love y'all. Thank you.